get down to 4.3. Now this 4.3 bit manipulation, earlier it was part of A2, in this new syllabus, this is part of AS now. So it used to be until last year, even those students for 9608 who appeared in last June or they will appear in this October as well, they will be handling this bit manipulation in their A2 exam, but for you, it is in AS now. So this is one of the change that is from the previous lecture to this lecture that bit manipulation is now part of AS. So now what is bit manipulation? You need to first understand one thing from your O level. If you do remember in O level, there was uh, a topic that was use of binary in computers. There was a topic which was use of binary in computers. Let me remind you of that topic before we go any further. Just give me a second. There are a few questions from that topic, use of binary in computer systems. This is O-level question. Just to remind you that how actually we are dependent over bits when it comes to the computer, which is controlling something. Controlling means it is taking input from sensors, taking decision over it, and then with the help of these registers, it is working out for us. So if a computer is doing anything by itself, it is actually with the help of these registers inside the hardware and every bit of that register is actually responsible for some action. So let's say for this particular question, a seven segment display, why do we call it seven segment? Because this digit is being shown with seven different lines, vertical and horizontal lines. Let's say if I want to make seven, I will make line number one, two, and three lit and six, seven, five, four off. And if I want to make two, then I would uh, light one, two, seven, five, four, and I will make this six and three off. So that is how we will be creating. So this whole seven segment display is associated to this register. This is 8-bit register. They say that bit 0 on least significant side will remain 0 and rest of the bits will be representing one of the segment or line of this digital display. So that whenever you put one in that respective bit, that will play a role of power switch. So as soon as you put one in that, what will happen? that that particular segment or line will be lit and whenever you put zero, that will be switched off then. So if it is three, then it means that you would have to put uh, um, uh, zero in six and uh, five and one, two, seven, three and four one, two, seven, three, and four will be one. So this is actually the use of bits. You can see that sometimes you don't have to change the whole byte. Sometimes you have to change the bit of that particular byte and you want to keep remaining of the bits same, but you want to change few of the bits. This is called bit manipulation. 
And then uh, in bit manipulation, let me show you one very important thing. I'm not discussing it uh, in greater detail because you would have already done it in O levels. So over here, you can see that one single digit is responsible uh, for this four bit register. There are four registers here and every register has got four bits associated. So if it is zero, then they are tackling it like a binary number, binary integer number one, two, four, eight. So if it is eight, then it is one triple zero. If it is zero, then all zeros. Then if it is three, double zero, double one. And if, it's, it, if it is five, then it is zero, one, zero, one. So, and then sometimes we have uh, bit shifting. Bit shifting is something very important. And that bit shifting is part of O levels, but not uh, directly under the topic, but just as a practice in exam without telling that what exactly is happening. So now you can see this one byte, which is showing the value 27, 16 plus 8, 24 plus 2, 26 plus 1, 27. And we have shifted the bits towards the left. So when we have shifted the bits towards the left, the bit on the most significant side has gone out of the register or the byte. And an empty space is created on the right side, which is filled with zero. Now you can see that the number has become what? 54. So when you shift left, the number becomes doubled. So 27 has become 54. Now the question says all the bits in the binary number have now been shifted, moved one places to the left. What binary number does this now represent 54. B is what effect did the shift have on the original binary number? It multiplies the number by two. If the binary number was shifted another one place to the left, what binary value would we would it be equivalent to that 54 will become 108? Represent the binary number 46 as an 8-bit binary number. So we have represented 32 plus 8, 42 plus 4, 40, uh, 42, 32 plus 8 is 40, 40 plus 4, 44 plus 2, 46. And then they say that uh, shift 8 bits binary number two places to the left. So when, when we move it one place to the left, you can see that this 46 would become 92. And then when we move it one place further to the left, the thing will become 184. So this is two times left shift. Every time, if it is two, it becomes four. If it is four, it becomes eight. So let's say if it is 10 and we want to move it thrice towards the left. So 10 would become in first shift, 10 would become 20. In second shift, it would become 40. And in third shift, it would become 80. That is how it works means 2 to power n times it increases itself. 2 to power n. What is n then? n is the number of shifts. And then it is multiplied by that. Anyways, so this bit shifting is actually something really important. And there are multiple questions in O levels, but over here, we are not going to solve all these questions. I just wanted to show you these questions to remind you of what you have done in O level. And then now let's get to the topic, which is in actually AS. So it is an important topic, which have roots in O level, but actually in AS, it is a detailed one. Okay. Now, bit manipulation. Let's first pay attention to the details. What is bit manipulation? What are the operations that we can understand? How bit manipulation actually is used and all. So bit manipulation, the, let's first, uh, as usual, let's first start with the key terms, bit manipulation. 
pulled off a bit. So now the topic is bit manipulation. What you should already know, you should already know what end you should already no end gate we know it properly or gate and exclusive or gate we have an idea of it so what end gate does what or gate does what exclusive or gate does we have studied it in uh, o levels as well as in as level now there are key terms which you have to actually understand before we go any further and we will keep use these key terms throughout the bit manipulation lecture first one is shift shift means moving the bits in a register a given number of places within the registers and there are different types of shifts. The first one is left logical shift. The shift that you have just observed in O levels was the logical shift. Logical shift, bits shifted out of the registers are replaced with zeros. So if you are shifting towards the left, Places on the right are becoming empty, so you will put zeros in it. And if you are shifting towards the right, places over the left on the most significant bit side will be emptied, so you would have to put them, uh, sorry, fill them with zeros. So that is logical shift. Then we have got arithmetic shift. Arithmetic shift. Arithmetic shift in the sh in this shift we will preserve the sign of the number. Let's say if you have a number which is saved in the form of two's complete uh, two's complement format, which you which you would have already studied in uh, numbers. So if you have minus two, then the sign of that particular number will be preserved. The shift that you have just observed was unsigned integer. So if it is a signed integer, the system tries to hold on the sign of the uh, number. So we will see that how that happens. And then we have got cyclic shift. So cyclic shift is basically uh, a shift which does not make us to lose the bits which fall outside the register. For example, if you are shifting it towards the left, so bits on the left side will be dropped out of the register. So in cyclic shift, what happens is that if you are shifting towards the life, so, so toward the left, all the bits which are being dropped will be inserted from the right so it's a cycle it's a circle 
So what goes out from the left comes back in from the right. It's like a chain, a chain in motorcycle or cycle. And if you are shifting towards the right, the bits which are being dropped off from the least significant side will get back in from the most significant side. That is called cyclic shift. Anyways, we are going to practice this in Visual Basic and the most concerned shift that we actually uh, require to understand is the logical shift. All right, and most programming languages actually help to understand logical shifts and uh, we will be actually understanding the shifts in terms of logical shifts only later. So cyclic shift, then I described what? Left shift. Then I described right shift. Then the system that requires all this bit manipulation is called monitoring and control system. Monitoring and control system. We have to look into it as well. So let's suppose that you have got a phone. It's a screen. You are watching um, something over the screen. As soon as you bring it close to your ear to talk to someone, what basically happens, the sensors, they realize the proximity sensor, the distance sensor that realizes that now your phone is basically close to your ear or your face, or you have covered it with your palm even. Then as soon as that distance is finished, system asks the screen light to be switched off. System asks the screen light to be switched off. So what you can now realize that what is happening. The system is having an input from uh, the proximity sensor. So proxim proximity sensor is basically related to a single register's bit. So to a single bit of certain register. So that bit, what bit, what that bit does, it acts like a switch. So when it is one in there, screen is lit. When it is zero in there, the screen is off, switched off. So that is how it actually works. The part of the system which is reading the input from the sensor is called monitor. And the part of the system which after monitoring takes the decision and does or perform action is called control. We will look into it exclusively later. So monitor to automatically take readings from a device like sensor. Control to automatically take readings from a device, then use the data from those read readings to adjust the device. So taking input from one device and adjusting another device. The device which is giving input is mostly sensor. The device which is giving output could be any, but there's a generalized term for that device that is called actuator. So all the devices or the parts of the devices which bring change to the environment are called actuator. Let's say you have got this split AC in your room or the window AC in your room, there is a device inside it called compressor. That compressor is responsible for the cooling effect that you feel when you switch on your air conditioner. So system with the help of input from the thermostat will actually switch on and off this actuator, which is thermostat. That is how it works. So that is actuator. And then when we will be studying input output devices, we will also be studying few of the sensors as you would have already done it in all levels. And then we have got a mask. Now the term mask is used for the values which we use to manipulate the bits inside the register. What does it mean? It means that a register has got some value already in it. We want to change the values. So for changing the values, we will perform few actions 
with another value that another value is called mass you would understand it when i'll start doing it all right so these are the key terms that we will be using again and again and again i introduced you with these key terms so that when they come up again all right so you could realize that yes these are the things that are talked about earlier now so let's just uh, talk about it now let's go further and see what's happening a shift involves moving the bits stored in a register a given number of places within the register each bit within the register may be used for a different purpose for example in the uh, interrupt register each bit identifies a different interrupt all right uh, there are several different types of shifts first one is logical shift bit shifted out of the registers are replaced with zero for example an 8 bit register containing the binary value let's say 10101111 shifted left logically three places so three zeros will be introduced from the right side then arithmetic shift so let me write it down logical shift so let's say you have got a register 8 bit registers and it has got value 10 10 1 1 1 1 and you have shifted it left three places so three places means these three bits on the left 101 are now dropped so it has become 0 1 1 1 1 on the right side three zeros will be introduced all right so if we like to put it in algorithmic form if you see if you would like to do it in a computer language you should have it in an instruction form so in that case which value is this 10 10 1 1 1 1 1 1 let me know with but how kaun si value hai ye 10 10 1 1 1 1 Which value is this? Bata do, bhai. So re ho, dekh re ho, kya kar re ho aap log? Anyone? To check. Ji, ye to binary. <laughs> binary to hai. One zero one zero one 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 one. Denary me kya hai, bate? Denary me bataiye. क्या सारे लोग सो रहे हैं अलीजा असद हानी नबीरा तुराब जुहेर एवरी वन वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन बेटा वन जीरो वन जीरो वन 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 विच वैल्यू इज दिस जरा आप सब प्रेजेंट तो लगाए यस देट इज वन सेवेंटी फाइव जरा आप लोग सब प्रेजेंट तो लगाए लेट मी सी कौन कौन इस वक्त स्क्रीन के सामने बैठा हुआ है सब इस वक्त इसका मतलब है स्क्रीन के सामने नहीं है और राइट आई गेट इट ओके सो दिस इज वन सेवेंटी फाइव अगर हम इसको लॉजिकली algorithmically in pseudo code agar hum isko dikhana chahte hain to this would be like this a is equal to 175 all right so this will save is 10101111 in a and then i want to shift a three times 
So, and the value, this value, I will assign, this is, let's say, this is A, this is B. I'll assign it to B. So, I'll be like, B is equal to A shifted three places. So, that is a legit operator, left, less than, less than. All right. So, this would become... It, this will actually shift three places towards the left and it will make it, it will assign the new value to B. So what is B now? 120. Wonderful. Good, honey. Good, Alize. So this is basically good. All right. So that is how it is shifted towards left. So if I want to move it towards right, similarly, I will use greater than and greater than sign. And then we have got arithmetic shift. The sign of the number is preserved. For example, uh, let's say uh, an eight bit register containing the binary value, same binary value, one zero, one zero one 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 one. Now you can see that this is a negative number. This is a negative number since the sign bit is negative. Let's deal this number. Yes. Now let's make this number. Uh, let's shift it. This is a negative number. Yes, shifting three it, three places towards the right will give 21. Yes. If we logical shift from the right, it will be different. Obviously, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. No, it will be 15. No, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, 21. Now, arithmetic shift. So this, what arithmetic shift does? Arithmetic shifts, the sign of the number is preserved. So let's say we have got this number one zero one zero one 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 shifted right arithmetically three places would become what this would become right three places so one 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 zero one zero one so have you seen that this bit is a negative bit this is a sign bit which is negative. So when three places are added on the left, they remained one. Okay. So whatever the sign bit, it is copied. If it is zero, then zero will be copied. If it is one, that will be copied. Unlike logical shift where when we are actually dropping we are inserting zeros on the right and the left over here in arithmetic shift when we are shifting right or left whatever the sign bit if it is one it is negative if it is zero it is positive we will actually be filling in that on the left if it is right shift and if it is uh, left shift in that case um, zeros on the right side. So now, oh, so drop bits go hum sign bit key value say replace. Karte. Yes, this is exactly the same. So drop bits are replaced with sign bit values. Wow, that is the most appropriate thing. So when shifting right with an arithmetic right shift, the least significant bit is lost and the most significant bit is copied. And most significant bit is what, as Ani said, the sign bit. Languages handle arithmetic and logic right shifts in different ways. We don't have, uh, we will be studying Visual Basic in AS and uh, Python in A2. So in AS, uh, uh, in Visual Basic and Python, we are not going to discuss uh, arithmetic shifts because that is not there. There are no commands and if there are, there are any, I don't know of. I haven't 
seen it, I never have seen it. So that is not required for syllabus as well. In syllabus, we will be actually programming for only logical shapes. So let's say, let me remind you one again, once again, in logical shift, let's say if it is one, zero, one, one, register is four bits and we have shifted it one place, then it would become what? It would become one, zero, one, one, zero, one. So let's say if it is one, zero, one, one, and we shift it three places, it will become uh, one, uh, if it is uh, what, three shifts. So one, two, three, zero, 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 one. And this would be zero, sorry. So this is logical shift. One, zero, one, zero, yes. All right, so now, let's say if it is arithmetic shift and we want to preserve the sign So in that case, let's say in arithmetic shifts, uh, let's say if it is one zero one one, one zero one one is minus five, and we shift it towards the right one time, this would become one one zero one. So this has become minus three. All right, so this is arithmetic shift. So one zero one one is actually what? Minus five. And this is actually what? One one zero one minus three. Similarly, if it would be in uh, Logical shifting, the same signed arithmetic if it is logical shifting and it is all ones, all ones means minus one and we shift it right, then it will be seven then. So we are not going to discuss that in that detail. So you get the idea of arithmetic shifts. And then we have got cyclic shifts. Cyclic shifts. Let's say we have got this number zero zero one 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 zero one and we are shifting it two places to the left. So what will happen that these two zeros will enter from the right side. So this would become one 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 zero one and then two zeros. And let's say if we are moving it zero zero one 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 zero one three places towards the right. So this one will be here, then this zero afterwards, and this one afterwards, and rest remain the same. Zero zero one one one. Get the idea? So this one zero one from the right side, entered from the left. All right, so this is three places shift. First, we moved it towards the left. So these numbers, these two bits were actually made their way on the right side from lead from lead most significant bit side to the this is most significant bit side to the left significant bit side similarly
if we move it towards the left, sorry, the right, bits on the right will make their way from the left side. So we cannot just say right, left, right, left. Rather, we would say that from bit from the least significant bit side will make their way from the most significant bit side. So this is called cyclic shift. Which sort of shift it is? Cyclic shift. And then uh, you understood right shift, left shift. Now, there are assembly language commands means opcodes for left shifting and right shifting and that is only for don't forget that we are studying processor fundamentals and assembly language so the instructions will be there and this would be only for logical shift so the first opcode is LSL. LSL and operand would be N. Bits in accumulator, as we know that every other command is only pointing out to the accumulator. So what will happen when we pass this instruction LSL, let's say one. So bits in accumulator are shifted logically n places to the left. Zeros are introduced on the right hand side. Similarly, we have got another instruction, which is L. Alisa, I'm going to answer you shortly. Please hold on. LSR. This is bits in the accumulator are shifted logically n places to the right side lsl means shift left lsr means shift right zeros are introduced on the left hand end and for your syllabus shifts are always performed on the accumulator now let's take this question Aliza says, so basically in the logical one, means logical shift, we just have to move the bits and calculate the denary value. In arithmetic, we have to find the sign integer and we will be filling it that signed bit in the newly introduced bits of the register, yes. And in cyclic, we have to switch places of the first four with the last four. Not, not necessarily four. It is any number. If you are shifting one, only the rightmost one bit will be introduced from the left side. If we are shifting twice, the two bits on the right side in the cyclic uh, shifts will be introduced from the left. That is how it works. All right. So we, we, all we need to do is to pay attention to the just logical shifts because that is the part of your slavers. Now let's see what slavers says. If you could see, the, these are just two commands, LSL and LSR. And since this gives the Um, value itself, not the address, we use hash sign as well. Okay, so now LSL and LSR, we have discussed it. We have also seen these labels thing in symbolic addressing. I have already covered it. We give label, label here, instead of the address. We use this colon. This colon signifies that this is a label, and then we have got opcode and operand. We have solved many questions related to this earlier as well. And then we can also give the label to the data so that we could refer to this data with the name instead of address. Give symbolic address label 
to the memory location with the content of the data. So we have covered LSL, LSR, and these label, labels already. In the next class, I'm going to discuss and exclusive for and or, and then we will write few programs in Visual Basic to understand that how actually this works when we use it in the languages, all right? In monitoring and control, each bit in the register or memory location can be used as a flag and would need to be tested, set or cleared separately. So if, if we like to, instead of moving, shifting left and right, if we like to tackle with only few of the bits, let's say out of eight bits register, I want to change third bit and seven bit. I don't want to shift or anything. I just want to change third bit and uh, seven bit. In that case, I'll be using and exclusive for and uh, or. I might like to switch it. May I want to, let's say I want to make zero one. I want to make one a zero. I might like to clear it. Clear it means whatever is there, just make it zero. I want to, let's say sometimes I want to set it. Whatever it is there, just make it one, so it is set. So set means putting one, clear means making it zero, switching means making it vice versa, toggling it, so, uh, what do we say, inversing it, all right? So for example, a control system with eight different sensors would need to record when the data from each sensor had been processed. This could be shown are written using eight different bits in the same memory location. <coughs> so let's say we have got a byte. Every single bit is related to one of the register, one of the sensor. That sensor, when it is giving a value, that particular bit related to that sensor is being set as one or being cleared as zero. So in that case, end is used to check if the bit has been set and and operation or is used to set the bit and exclusive or is to use um, is, is to be used to, to clear a bit that has been set now in the next class i will explain this and exclusive or and or so i hope that uh, we understood these uh, bit manipulation things now clearly we would have to solve a few of the questions. We would have to take a few of the examples and we will also have to do this in Visual Basic so that we have an idea that how we use it. But in your syllabus, it is just with the assembly language. So we, you won't be actually required an exam to write codes in Visual Basic or pseudocode just with the assembly language. But, but for your knowledge, I will be writing few the programs in Visual Basic so that you have an idea that if the computer is actually dealing with it. Obviously, whatever we do in high level languages is actually turned into low level language, assembly language, or the machine code by the compilers and also whether you do it in high level language or low level language in Visual Basic, Python, or the assembly language, ultimately when it reaches to the computer, it is in this form, which is in front of you. Anyways, are there any questions? So, and exclusive for or remains LSL, LSR, and labels I have actually defined. Any other question if you have? Well, let's just wind up our class.